Welcome to Project Guts. This video is a brief explanation of the Star Logo Nova website, how to get registered, and a little bit about what's in the galleries. So to f start with, we're going to register. So we're at slnova.org, and you can see that there's some information here about Star Logo and such. And we're going to register. For this, you're going to need a new username and a password. And for this, um, the email is optional, but it is recommended in case you forget your login and you wanted to get your uh, projects back. So then you hit submit and now we're in and you'll see that a couple things have changed. First of all, it used to be just slnova.org, but now that we're logged in, it also adds this extra information here, guts student, which was my login, and so it adds that to the web address. And then also it can show that same information is here that I'm logged in. You can see my profile and then some information about the uh, username and you can edit some things here, your username, password, and the email that you're going to use. And here are galleries. There's a private gallery, a public gallery, and then you can actually create new galleries as well um, as you start making more and more projects and then you want to organize them in some way. So all of your projects will always start in the private gallery as a default and later you can put it in the public gallery and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to start now with a new project and a pop-up window comes up. We're going to select blank project and submit it. And now the page is going to refresh and uh, here we are ready to do some coding in Star Logo Nova. And you'll notice now there is um, a project and a unique number that goes along with it. So every project that you create has a unique URL and there's some information here so it's in our private gallery and we can put a name to it and uh, here's the owner we don't have collaborators yet and some information there about it uh, and these are some of the default things that will happen and this is where you can add this project to my gallery so I changed the name and I'm gonna put something here now one thing is that the uh, backspace does not work on this but uh, if you want to change anything in the description you just kind of have to highlight it and type it over so then we're gonna hit save and this is just sort of a protection there's usually it's auto saving but you just want to make sure with this extra save and at this point we can add it to our gallery and we get a new pop-up window that comes and it's already in our private gallery but we can choose public gallery select that hit submit page is going to refresh and you'll see now that it's in both the private and the public gallery and if I want to take a look at these galleries there's a couple ways you can just click on those alright and that takes me to my private gallery and you can see that it's listed here or if you go over to the upper right um, the word my profile you click on that and you'll see your other galleries here the private gallery and then I had also put it in the public gallery so these are the same projects just organized into two different galleries and we're gonna go here and uh, do some other things to this uh, in the future so we'll s sign off now and see you in the next video thanks